Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I feel like I have not really been on here very much at all lately. And yet I'm spinning my wheels with busyness. So thank you so much to each and every one of you who know that it's not that I'm not crafting or maybe I'm not because I'm that busy, but knowing that I'll be back on shortly. So I've we've gotten past my granddaughter's first birthday. It was amazing. I It just was amazing. I think I might have shared that. No, maybe I didn't. I don't think I've shared that with you guys. It was just the most beautiful birthday. It was so wonderful. Um, it was a lot of people. She is just the most darling little thing you've ever laid eyes on. And uh, I was so glad I got to go to her um, first birthday party. <laughs> I mean, of course I would have went, but I, I would have had to go late. And I'm so glad I got um, PTO from work and was able to be there the whole time. So it was so exciting. And, and oh my goodness, I can't believe our baby of the family is one. I'm so sad, but I'm so happy all at the same time. So I've been, you know, that's been going on. I've been working a lot. I've went into office a couple times, but guess what? I am back to crafting. I have been crafting. It's just things that I have to get done before I can share. So that's what we're doing today. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is Sandy, Decorate Your Life. This is her new gingerbread collection and it's called a Gingerbread Christmas. You guys, I don't have much of it left. It's pretty much, I've, I've uh, yeah, I've used so much of it. I have scraps and, oh, but man, if you guys haven't looked at this collection, you've got to check it out. Don't forget my discount code. Um, Maxine 10, make sure if you go on there and shop for this collection because it is stinking adorable. I mean, just look at these, these gingerbread houses really sold me. I love this collection so much. Um, I'm probably going to go on and buy the digital collection myself so that I can craft throughout the Christmas season with it whenever I want. And not only that, I want to own it for the rest of my life, you know, and with Decorate Your Life, when I'm, even though I'm on um, the design team, she sends us these in the mail. I do not want her to send me the digital collection because that's not fair to her. You know, I'm doing this and I craft with this as a way to, you know, share it on my channel and you guys get a discount code and I get to play with the paper and really fall in love with the with the beautiful papers. But I'm gonna go ahead and there's several of them I'm gonna pick up for my digital collection to have for the rest of you know my life, basically. So this is one I highly, highly recommend you guys. So, so cute, so cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and share my projects I've made. I think I'll turn this over so you can see the white. Okay, I did make a couple cards. Um, it's that time of year where, you know, you want to get your Christmas cards going, Christmas tags, and I'm ready. Like, it's time to get busy. So, look at this beautiful card. Ah, I love it so much. I love it. I love it. The fact that these bags have, like, a present on it and the tissue paper, and I put fa-la-la-la-la, and then inside... I haven't decided on my stamp yet, but it's definitely going to be one of these Christmas stamps. I just haven't decided which one because, you know, I did put follow la la on here, but I still want to put some stamp inside. And these are the ones I'm choosing from. So, um, I don't know. We'll see what I end up deciding to put in it and who I'm going to send it to. I don't know. But I mean, just, is this card not beautiful? And I actually made the whole card. I act, this is just, um, my 60 found 60, 60. What was I, what did I just say? <laughs> you guys this is my 65 pound card stock that I've just turned into I believe it's an A2 I'm almost positive this is called an A2 card but I'm just so proud of myself that I made a card right the whole card I made I'm I love it I'm so excited okay here's another one I made you guys how cute is this have a cup of cheer it's a whole gingerbread house there's my little gingerbread guy so so cute right oh I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm going to try, I think, every day to make one or two cards so that I have them for, um, you know, by the time Christmas gets here, hopefully I'll have all my cards decorated. But inside here, I just put a couple of the little gingies. Now, this is a gingy cut out of this paper collection, 
which I thought was super cute. As you can see, I put a face on it. Little face on that one. Um, I was kind of worried. I was like, will this gingerbread look right in a colored paper? I love it. I think it's adorable. It's got the purple little hearts. I love it. I think it looks so, so cute. You can still see the face, which is what I was concerned about. It's perfect. Oh, I love this card. Okay, I don't usually make a lot of cards with Sandy's collection. I usually make a lot of projects, which I'm still going to do, obviously. But, you know, I got to get on these cards, you guys. I got cards to make. <laughs> so, I'm obviously going to take this beautiful collection and turn it into some cards. So, there we go. There's my two cards. Okay, here is a shopping bag I made. <laughs> Look at the side here. We've got a ginger girl and a little snowman. I love this mint so much. And the brown, oh, I just love this paper. Here's the front. Again, two gingies out of the paper collection. And then a gingy out of, you know, just regular um, cardstock. And now that I'm sitting here looking at it, I so should have inked around the cookie one to make it look like a cookie. Now I tried to, I really wanted to put a gingerbread and then this same gingerbread, but a little bit smaller inside it. But I didn't have that option because the gingerbreads I have weren't, like I want basically a layering piece behind my gingies and I didn't just didn't have that option with these. But this is so big inside here, look at this. Like you could fit, oh my gosh. You could probably fit, I'll bet. 15, 20 cards in here. It's, I mean, it's that big. It's really, really big. I love this bag so, so much. I love the sides. Look at that. Look at that. It's so cute. The little house and the gingerbread. Here I put Merry Christmas on it. I hated, hated, hated covering up the paper. But when I just left it, you know, with the paper not covered up, it just doesn't look finished. It's really hard to cover up Sandy's paper, you guys. It's so hard because that's the point. The paper is so beautiful, right? But sometimes you want to decorate it. So I went ahead against, <laughs> against my better judgment because I just want to look at the paper. But I also want to feel like I have a finished project too. So uh, it's just so beautiful. I just love, love, love this paper. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, and then the last thing I made, oh my gosh, you guys, look, look, look. Okay, so I used the gingerbread house to make a gingerbread, um, the gingerbread house with the gingerbread paper to make a gingerbread mini album. Ah! <laughs> I love the snow. I should have put stickles on this, I think. I've been working on this for probably, I don't know, two weeks now between this and the cards and the bag. Yeah. Because I've also been doing some of another paper collection I have of hers. Like I just kind of keep going back and forth, you know, because you just get inspired by certain papers. But this one, you know, pretty much what I have left is scrap. So I thought I'd come on and share what I have made. Oh, I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, I haven't decorated the inside yet, and the reason for that is because I'm not sure. I'm thinking I'm probably going to put Christmas pictures in here for of my grandkids at Christmas time this year. So, I just feel like once you have the Christmas pictures in here, you'll know what decorations you want to put. Like, I don't want to decorate it until then. And not only that, I really like being able to look at the pages as long as I possibly can. Because, I mean, look at these. They're so, so cute. Look at that one. Okay, so this, the uh, the candy cane is making it a little bit hard to open, but I'll figure that out. Oh, look at this. Look, it's the whole gingerbread house. Look, it even has a terrace on top. Like, it's so, so cute. You guys, somebody tell me, okay, because I want to make this double-sided, but you can't because... You know, you've got, I don't know, maybe I could just cut that off, I guess. But then you wouldn't have stitching here. I don't know. I don't understand how come some of these dies. I can't do both. And I'm going to show you that too. And then something else I made on another collection of Sandy's. Because I want to double side my mini albums. But you just can't because they're not made like that. So that's a little frustrating. But now that I'm looking at that, I could have just cut the 
chimney off. So I really still can put um, paper on the back of that. Yep, that's all I'd have to do. Oh, I just love this mini album. It's so cute. I love the pinks on this collection. You guys, these cards, I have to say, I don't know who I'm going to send them to because they're some of my favorite. <laughs> and it's like you make your cards. And even though I love all of my cards, there's those few special ones you think are so, so cute. And you're just like, uh, who do I send them to? Because, you know, they're so, so special to you. I love these bags here. And I love the gingerbread house here. Uh, I just love it, love it, love it. And my little bag is so cute. Let's see if I can fit all my stuff in my bag. Let's see. Let's put my gingerbread mini album in here. And it is. Ah, it all fits. Can you believe that? Take your little bag. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love it. Another thing I need to get better at is making charms for my stuff. Like, I've been working with charms lately. I'm not. I haven't quite, um, you know, I've just not quite mastered it yet. And with these collections, like, I just love it so much. I don't want to take a chance on ruining it. But I guess I'm never going to learn until I just start doing it. Maybe just put a charm on here. So if I end up figuring out, you know, putting a charm on here, I'll send a picture of it on my Instagram page and my, and my community post. Just so you guys can tell me how, what you think it looks like. So I hope you'll tell me which one of these projects is your favorite. I can't pick, I, I don't know, maybe I'm really partial to the mini album. But I also like the cards. But I also like the bag. I can't choose. I like them all so, so, so much. And usually, I don't I don't necessarily think I do such a great job. But I feel like Sandy's Collections really pushes me to create beautiful things. That's another reason I really like um, creating for her. Because I feel like it pushes my creativity. Okay, you guys. So, that's it. I'll be on just a couple more days with another collection. Because like I said, I've been working with the two. And uh, the other one I have just about done. I've got a couple more things I want to make with it. But I've already gotten one, two, three, four. I think I've already gotten four things done with that. So it's just about ready to share as well. And uh, yeah. Okay, you guys. Thank you so much for listening to me talk about my grandbaby and her first birthday. It was so exciting. And thank you so much, you guys for congratulating me on 2,500 subscribers. I'm over that. I can't believe it. I never in a million years thought I'd be there. And um, it's because of all of you. You know, all of you are so good to me. And I'm truly, truly, truly grateful. So thank you. Please leave me comments. I love your comments. Um, and um, if you like this video, I'd love a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, what are you waiting on? Come on, we want to have you as part of our family here. All right, you guys, have a great night, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.